Okay, in this tutorial we're going to discuss all the lovely different ways of creating a mask. Uh, and there are many in Nuke. So uh, I have a picture of a house. Okay, and let's say we want to just color correct this little section right here. Well, if I put on a color node, and let's say I just, I don't know, give it a nice little warm color, you notice the whole image turns that color. So I could use a Bezier, which I would create, hitting P, and I could trace out let's say the house a little bit and let's maybe select all the nodes hit C to make it linear why they don't use this as default I don't know uh, okay and if I now now that I have it all traced out take the mask sec the output or I should say input and plug it into the Bezier, it would be just this little section in here, which is perfect, except for that, what's this going on? This doesn't look like a nice cutout. Well, that's most likely because your project setting is not set to your comp setting, which right now this image is 2288, and the Bezier has no way of knowing what uh, resolution, or I should say what uh, comp size that you want this to be. So if I hit S on the keyboard and look at my project settings, it's set to, I don't know what, but what we need it set to is 2288, which is that. And you notice everything falls into place. Now, if the Bezier was plugged into the pipeline, it would automatically assume the comp size. But being that it's floating out into uh, space, it doesn't know and you have to tell it. So Bezier, is giving us our lovely mask but it's very primitive and it's crude because if you want to uh, color correct the trees or pull a nice mask keep the wires or whatever you have fun in rotoscope so that leads us to the next mask which would be let's say a lumen mask now i'm going to just shut this bezier off for confusion purposes okay so now we still have our image it's all blah and we want to use a lumen mask. So I'm going to borrow this viewer. Okay, so I have the same image. And um, this time I'm going to use a keyer. And the keyer, as you notice, as you set to uh, lumen key by default, you notice that nothing happens because you bet it's the alpha channel that is going to be taking place. So all of your changes will be made in the alpha channel. Uh, so now that we're set into the alpha channel, if we start playing around with settings, we can now attempt to pull a key. And I am not going to try to pull the ultimate key. I just want to pull anything to give you an example of what's going on here. So uh, let's say, oh, I don't know, perhaps that. Uh, let's use the red channel looks pretty good um, you can that's the green channel blue channel nothing of interest all right so I think I'm gonna use the red channel so on the red channel I have this image that I want to use as my mask so again if we go back to RGB looks like there's nothing taking place because all the magic is happening in the alpha channel so let's go back to our image and there's our lovely color corrected image and now we could take our mask and pump it into the keyer and lo and behold we have our ugly disgusting mask that's in that area but you get the idea okay that's how you would set up a mask using the Luma key to pull your mask. Now, this is nice, this is wonderful, except for that a lot of people argue that you do not have much control over your uh, adjustments. Uh, 
you know, it's almost basically like one slider going back and forth. But. So that moves me over to the next option, which is the channel merge. Now channel merge is a little bit more complicated. It's the most complicated one out of everything, out of all three of these, but it will uh, give you the best results. So I am going to, again, borrow this viewer and I'm going to add a gray node. And the gray node is different because if we go to the alpha channel, you have nothing, zip, zilch. Um, you're going to basically pull your mat through the R, G, N, or B. So once again, I will look for the highest contrast between them and I really don't care which channel I use. But I will try, I don't know. Blue, how's that? So I go over to my gray node and just keep blue going. And now I can play with my black points and my white points to get the ultimate key that I've been looking for. But besides black and white points, you have all these other wonderful settings that will help you and aid you get a better key than uh, let's say you're a Luma key. Well, have fun doing it. But for argument purposes and to speed up the video, I am going to leave it as this. So now I have the ultimate key that I want to use. And that is on the blue channel. Blue channel, blue channel. Go to the alpha channel and there is the boots. And what you need to understand is that when you go back to the RGB settings, you get these funky looking settings in here. You go, oh, it's this. This is not going to give you the results that you think you're going to get by pumping it in. If I go back to my uh, viewer, here's my lovely color, and I try to pull that mask into the gray node, you'll notice it doesn't work. Okay? Why is that? Well, because in order for the masks to work this way, how do I stop this thing? It needs an alpha channel. And again, once again, don't make me do this again, but I'm going to go over here, put it in. You're going to notice that there is no alpha channel. Okay? So we need to make one. Well, how do we do that? Da -da -da, channel merge. So let's bring in a channel merge. That would be C, H, channel merge. Okay, what's going on with this channel merge? Well, there's an A input and a B input. So we are now plugged into the A channel, which is fine, because we're only doing one. We can merge multiples, but we're just doing one now. So on the A channel, we are going to select our blue, because that's the one that we're using. So if we go to the A channel, select blue, which is RGBA blue, um, and we need to tell it, now we want it to make sure it's an alpha channel. So the output is, is by default set to alpha channel. So now if we go to the alpha channel, which was nothing before, ta -da, there's your alpha channel now. Now, just so you know, and just so I can confuse you a little bit more, that if I selected, instead of the output alpha, I could have selected uh, the red channel. And of course the alpha goes away because there is no alpha channel anymore. But if I go to the red channel, there it is in the red channel. If I go to the blue channel or the green channel, nothing there. But wait, if I go over to the output and set it to green, hey, there it is. So you understand? You can pump this alpha channel, this black and white image into any channel. But right now we need the uh, alpha channel. So there it is. So now we're all set. So now when we go back to our lovely colored home, and now we could plug in the mask into our channel merge, and there it is, our lovely wonderful key that is so tight you could run it well anyway so it's there's your mask so i just showed you three different ways to pull a mask in nuke 5.2 
and um, what else? I don't know. I think that's it for now. I'm getting tired. But um, this is very important. Three very important ways of creating a mask. So I hope you liked it. Thank you.